Okie dokie, greetings to you from Baltimore. It's 11th of September and I think it's a very memorable day in world history today and we are very sorry for all the lost lives uh, at that day and I, I exactly remember when the, when, when, where I was when this happened. I was sitting with my wife at home and we were watching news and we just saw the the news and it was and I think we when, when something like that happened, you know, such a memorable memorable event we you know it gets get stuck we fixed in our mind and maybe the reason is because of the importance of that event and where we were there at that moment. And I think there is amazing correlation to that spiritually because uh, the most important event in the history of uh, the universe, the whole history of, of humankind, is the cross of Jesus Christ. And where were you? When, where were you and I when that when that event happened? And the Apostle Paul, by the revelation of the Spirit, is saying that we were in Christ. It's amazing. We were in Christ, and being in Christ eternally, we've been reconciled to God through through His Son. We died to sin. We were buried, and we were raised again, and seated above in heavenly places. So, where were you and I? And how do we remember uh, that? Uh, the event of the cross by being united with Christ and being made one and that's that's just a great great truth of the gospel it's the glorious gospel that God did not just come in into this world to show us love to show us care to pay for our sins he came to make himself one with us so there would be no more separation us and Him and we would live in and by and through Him and that life would be so so different now because it is life in Him. So where were you and I? We were in Him and by virtue of being in Him we've been given all things through that redemption and, and in closing I just want to just say how God is what is what is He's really after? He is He's after our trust, but he is not demanding our trust. He is building our trust. And, and, and as we think about just uh, real human relationships, nobody ex expects you to trust somebody without knowing them, without really finding out who they are. And and God is not that kind of individual, not not that person that's kind of sitting above everybody and saying well why are you not trusting me like have I you know what about it and God has not uh, is not like that like my son he's sitting next to me he, he's been waiting for me in the school he's been waiting for me to come for him and he had this trust that I'm gonna come for him and it's based on on our relationship to one one another that he I am his dad and he's my son and that we have something between each other we have intimacy we have fellowship and and that trust is not a religious thing when somebody says, are you trusting God well it's a good question how why do I need to trust God there must be something behind that trust something to be something built and and, that, and, and there is amazing love, and there is amazing care, there is amazing character, and promise, and covenant, and, and God Himself being behind His Word. And when He's saying, trust me, it's like, it's not like He's over me, pushing me to trust, but He is calling me to, to find out, that the, the call to trust is the call to find Him out to discover Him for who He is. And that trust is being built slowly. Sometimes people ruin the trust in God by their mistakes, by their actions, and the devil is interested to do that. 
but don't let the devil ruin your trust because what <coughs> God is so worthy of your trust he is incredibly worthy be quiet and, 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 and trust his word trust his promise and worship him worship like we heard this Sunday worship is a, is a response but a response to the revelation of the amazing message of the cross love of God and we can be just so much sure and so much confident, confident in that and know that between us is not some kind of religious you know flur between us and God that oh he, he is demanding from me something I cannot give <coughs> the trust he is himself building into your life so your trust could be a really genuine genuine thing well God bless you say hi to my son he is tired Second day in school. Okay. Okay, bye-bye.